Hey guys, I'm going to show you how to customize your viewport interface really quickly. So go to your edit and preferences. Scroll down until you find 3D viewport, which should be right here. And once you're here, I'm going to select these two objects so you can see what's happening. So in here, you can change the color of your active object if you like. As you can see on the cube, it is changing. You can customize that to whatever you like. I'm going to leave it on default for now. Um, you can also change the wire colors. So if I go ahead and click over here and press Shift Z, as you can see, we are now in wireframe. And if I were to select wire, I can change this to a white, and now the wireframe is white. This can be really cool if you're trying to get some, you know, nice viewport renders of your models in the topology. If you don't want it to be black, you want some more contrast, you can mess with that. Then you can also change the color of your camera. If you don't want it to be black, you don't think it stands out enough, so you can see it easily, change it to another color. You can change it to white, you can change it to blue, change it to whatever you feel is the best. Now, there's settings for almost all of these things, but I'm gonna scroll down to the bottom, get rid of the colors real quick, and so we can see these specific ones. So, if I select this cube, let's go back to normal mode, and I'll press edit mode, and I'm in vertex select right now, which is the vertices. I can change the size of those. I can change them up and down with this scale. You can, so if you have a trouble seeing them, you can make them bigger. So yeah, you can also change your object origin size. As you can see, that gets smaller and bigger. Let me scroll to the side a little bit so maybe you can see a little better, just like that. And you can mess with all these things. And the main stuff is the cur uh, the colors and that's about it. Hopefully that helps you out and you can learn some things like that. Obviously you can change the grid color too, which is basically the white lines or the gray lines if you want it to stand out a little more. But yeah, thanks for watching. Hopefully that helped you and I'll see you guys in another one. Adios.